This is a demonstration of NetScan Tools LE. When you first open it up, you see this case information window. You can enter your case number, as I've done here, or you can select a previously used case or create a training mode case number. You can put your project name in here and your name, title, agency, and phone numbers here if you wish. Those can be optionally displayed on the reports. And then you press continue to begin the program. The first thing you'll always see is the welcome window. Over here you can see a control bar where you can select from tools, information about the program, or the welcome window. In this case the welcome window is the same thing as you see here. You can check for a new version here. You can also visit our site here and follow us on various things like our blog, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. So over here as you can see we have the controls for automated tools. This is the controls for manual tools that you can use to directly operate a tool. This is a packet capture tool and this is information about your program. And then here you can set your preferences. First I'm going to demonstrate the automatic tools. You select them by clicking on this icon right here. Then I'm going to enter, in this case, our domain name. I could have also entered an IP address, an email address, or a URL. So with the domain name, I'm going to select all these various tools that I want to use and they correspond to manual tools over here. So then we simply press get information about target to get going. And while you're moving along you can see the various progress information from each tool. Some tools take longer than others and over here you can see that if you wanted to jump to a manual tool you'd click on that button you can select or not select a tool over here and this is the DNS server to use to get your information. Right now it's doing a port scan. It takes a little longer and then there will be a trace route after that. And now we're complete. So in order to view the reports there's two ways. You can press this button right here or you can add a note about the current test that you just did right there. You can go over here and locate the test that you just did and it asks us if we want to include any of the notes in the report. We press yes then it opens up and as you can see there's our case number, investigator information, time of the test with reference number, the DNS information that we asked for with the check boxes, blacklist check, the who is information, the ping information, and the trace route down to the target, and then our port scan. And it also includes any uh, information that comes back from the port scan right there. Obviously port scanning is something that you need to be careful of because targets may be monitored for port scanning activity. You can also print the page like this if you wish. So it'll come up and print it. NetScan Tools LE has a number of manual tools that you can use. In this case, Email Validate is used to validate that any email address actually really exists. Finger is an old utility. It may or may not work. Uh, chances are that it might not. It, it will work in some cases, but it also takes an email address as input. And in both of these cases, it contacts the target's email server. You can see the warnings here. IP to Country uses a local database to find out what the IP address actually belongs to, what country. So in that case, just 
typing in a random IP version 4 address, we find out that it belongs to Japan. You can also use batch mode where you can enter a, a list of IP addresses and get a list of countries. Then you can import that list. Ping, of course, pings a target like that. You can put in an IP address or a host name like I did. Ping sweep pings a range of IP addresses again IP version 4 and it does send packets to the target IPs just like ping did and you can see the results right here the uh, host names the time that it took and the fact that it did reply port scanner as we learned earlier does actually scan the ports of a target computer so you want to be very careful with this and be sure that you have permission to scan the ports of the target Real-time blacklist check, that's a little bit different. It actually contacts a list of blacklist servers to find out if an IP address is listed on their server. The text-only web page grabber, what it does is it actually retrieves the web page that you put up here and it shows you the text. It does not execute any scripts. It does not show any images. It just shows the raw text of the web page. Of course, you can save it, print it, search for things within it. Trace route, as we all know, traces the route between point A and point B. As you can see, it shows you the speed here. It also shows you what country that each IP address is in. We can try a different one. And as you can see, it will go over to Europe. And as you can see, it has the United States, then the European Union, then the United Kingdom. Who is is also used to find out owners of domain names and the owners of IP addresses. In this case, you, we did it with a uh, domain name we can also do it with a uh, IP address here we'll just make one up as you can see it's assigned to China and you have information about who actually owns that IP address uh, in terms of which company is responsible for it and then you can click here to find a map showing the approximate location of it these locations are only as good as the database that we use. And that's the manual tools and NetScan tools. NetScan tools LE's manual reports are reached from any of the manual tools by pressing this button right here. And you can also jump to the automated tools right here and add a note to any previous query that you just did by pressing this button. So let's go to the reports. As you can see, the reports are listed here. Now we've talked about adding investigator information. You can choose to add it here. You can uh, filter on various things here. But let's just go ahead and view the who is information on that very on the uh, target that we did in China. So as you can see, here's our report in your web browser. You can save it from there. You can email it from your web browser or print it. It's a nice clean format. provides only the information you're interested in. Nothing extra. NetScan Tools LE also includes a packet capture tool. So if you select it here, you press the button, it actually launches it. It's a separate utility and it captures packets in a format in a file format, I should say, which is compatible with Wireshark. And Wireshark can open and read any capture files that you save here and read it in better detail than we can. But this is a quick packet capture tool. So as you can see, just to start it, you just select the interface that you're interested in. If you have more than one interface, more than one will appear there. So then you press start and then stop when you're interested in stopping resize this if you like. As you can see we had uh, some information coming out of our switch right here. 
and then you can see various communications going on, TCP communications and packets. You can see the packet length, the time to live, the source port and the destination port, various other things like the flags. And as you can see this is a SYN packet so it's talking from this computer to this computer and it's talking to a web server on that computer. You can right click and you can view that packet like we said. You can view it in Wireshark if you happen to have Wireshark installed. You can do searching and filtering. Copy rows to clipboard, copy all the rows, and save the packet capture file for use in it and later it and you can also reload it. Then you have your about down here. So that's the NetScan Tools LE packet capture tool.